Welcome back. Today we're going to introduce two new concepts related to sets, unions and intersections. Here I have two sets of numbers. The union basically means that I'm going to take these two sets and combine them to get a bigger set. So notation wise, uh, the way you write this out is the first set, which is A. Union, the symbol for union is going to be a U. And then the second set, which is B. And there's a couple different ways you can write out the union. So one way, which I don't recommend, so don't, don't write this part down, uh, but one way you can do it is just write out every element of the first set. And then just add on all the elements of the second set. And that's perfectly fine. But notice that I have some repeats, right? I have a repeat of 8, and I have a repeat of... This should be 14. I have a repeat of 14, which is totally fine. So like I said in the last lecture when we were talking about uh, sets, when we list out the elements of a set, repetition doesn't matter and the order doesn't matter. But I do recommend you re remove all the, all the repeats and also put things in order because it's going to make things simpler for us later on when we talk about subsets and complements. Okay, so don't write this part down, but the way I usually do the the union so that I don't have any repeats is I'm going to start with write out the first set as is. So 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And then go to my second set and just add on anything that's new, okay, without uh, putting any repeats in. So looking through my second set, what is new that I don't have yet? Two, I don't have yet, so I'll, I'll add on two. Four, I don't see a four yet. So I'll add on four, eight, eight I have already, so I'm not going to add on eight, another eight, 14, 14 I also have already, so I don't need to add on another 14, 20, 20 is new, so I'll add on 20, 22, 22 is also new, so I'll add on 22. So now I have a, a set without any repeats, and then I'm going to go one extra step and put things in order. Okay, you don't have to, but it's going to make things simpler later on. So in order, 2 and 4 should go first. And then we're going to go 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And then 20, 22. And that's the union. The next... Um, concept is called the intersection. So the intersection, um, notation-wise, the way you write it out is the first set. The uh, notation for intersection is going to be not a U, but a upside-down U. And then the second set. And the intersection, think of the intersection as the, the overlap. In other words, what numbers are in both sets at the same time? So what numbers are in both sets at the same time? 8, right? 8's in A and also in B. So 8 is, is in the intersection. Is there anything else? Do you see any other numbers that are in both sets at the same time? 14. 14 is in both sets at the same time. So 14 is in the intersection. And I think that's all. Right. Is there anything else that's in both sets at the same time? I think that's all. Um, so for intersection, sometimes uh, we denote this using a picture. So say that's set A, that circle, and say that second circle is the set B. The intersection will be the region that's in both circles at the same time. So what region is in circle A? and also circle B. Notice that this area in the middle is in both circles. So it's in circle A, and it's also at the same time in circle B. Okay, that's what I mean by the, the overlap. So the overlapping part, uh, this part is the, the intersection. So where might you see this in the real world? Here we have 
um, sets of numbers, but now let's pretend that you and your uh, significant other are, are getting married. Say the first set is your friends and family, your, your guest list. Okay, so instead of numbers here, pretend these are the names of your friends and family. So A is your guest list, and B is your partner's guest list, right? So what do you have to do? You have to combine those two guest lists together to get a, a single guest list, uh, a final guest list, right? And so what you're doing is you're basically doing the union, right? You're combining your two guest lists together to get a bigger guest list. What about the intersection? Okay, the intersection would be people that are in both lists at the same time, right? So there's some people who are your friends and at the same time, your, your partner's friends, right? Those are like mutual friends, right? So the mutual friends are the intersection. Let me give you another example of where unions and intersections show up in real life. This is the uh, Los Rios course schedule for fall 2021. If I go to the campus here and pick a college, say I pick American River, it's going to show me all of the courses at American River in fall 2021. So there are 2,688 courses at American River. I see American River, American River, American River. So these are all the courses at American River. If I clear this out and now pick CRC, I now have a list of all the courses at CRC, and there are 1,374 courses at CRC. CRC, CRC, CRC. So these are all the courses at CRC. Now what happens when I click on both of those colleges? Notice that now I have a bigger list. I have 4,013 now. So these are now courses at ARC and also CRC. Right? So these are all the courses at CRC, ARC combined with, with all the courses at CRC. That's a union. Okay, so in general, if you click on multiple check boxes within the same tab here, you generally get a union. Now let me show you something else. Let me clear everything out. Uh, if I go to campus and pick CRC now, just like we did before, these are all the courses at CRC. So 1,374. Uh, so all, all of these are CRC courses. Okay, let me clear this out. If I go to subject here and click on math, these are the math courses across the district. So I have math courses at CRC, math courses at Folsom Lake here, math courses at Sac City. So these are all the math courses across the district. These are all the math courses. Now, what happens when I, so this is all the math courses. What happens if I now, in addition, go to a different tab, campus, and click on CRC? I get now a smaller list of just 107. So these are now, we're taking the math courses, we're taking all the CRC courses, and we are intersecting them, okay, and getting a smaller list. So these are all the courses that are both math courses, and at the same time at CRC, aka these are all the math courses at CRC. So you get a smaller list. So in general, if you click on things in different tabs, so here I'm clicking on math and subject, and CRC in campus, you get a intersection. So this is uh, something you see all the time when you're like online shopping. Uh, anytime you're doing a search where you have those filters, uh, some of them you get a union and some of them you get intersections. Example one. So here we have a bunch of sets. The first one with a U is our universal set. So that's what we consider to be our quote unquote everything. And then we have sets A, B, and C. Write the following sets using roster notation. And all that means is I want a list of numbers. The first one, a with a little C, so that means complement. So this is a review from last time. And all this means is I want all the numbers that are not in A. So go through your, your everything, which is the universal set, and pick out all the numbers that are not in A. So what's not in A? 3 and 5. What else? 9 and 11 are not in A. What else? 15 and 17. Okay, these are the numbers that are not in A. Next up is C complement. So I want everything that's not in C. So here's C. Go through your universal set and pick out everything that's not in C. One, it's not in C. What else? Five and seven. What else? 
11 and 13. Seventeen, nineteen, and that's C complement. Next up is B complement. Okay, so these are everything that's not in B. Go through your universal set and pick out everything that's not in B. Here's B. So what is not in B? One is not in B. What else? Five is not in B. What else? Nine. What else is not in B? Thirteen. And I think seventeen. All right. So those are the complements. Part D. So this is now the uh, the new stuff we just talked about. A, union B. Okay. So look at regular A. Look at regular B, which are right here and right here. And I want to take the union. So, so as a tip, when you take a union, you most of the time should get a bigger set, right? So you're combining the two sets uh, and getting a bigger set. Uh, the way I typically do a union is I'm just gonna copy down the first set as is. So one, seven, 13, 19. And then I'm gonna look at the second set and then add on anything new from the second set. Okay, so three, I don't have a three yet, so I'll add on three. Seven, seven I have already, so I'm not gonna write down another seven, so seven is good. 11, 11 is new. 15, 15 is new. 19. 19 I have already, so I'm not going to add on another 19. So that's it. And then one extra step is I want to put things in order. So in order, it would be one first, three, seven, 11, 13, 15, 19. And just to double check, make sure I have everything, uh, I got everything. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I think I have everything. Next up is B, intersect, C complement. So look for where B is. So this is regular B, which is right here. Be careful here. This is uh, not regular C, this is C complement. So where do you see C complement? So it's either going to be in the original sets or it's one of the things one of the things that you already did. So C complement is this one right here. Okay? Regular B, C complement. This one's asking for the intersection, so that's the overlap. So intersections, you should end up with a smaller set. Uh, intersection means I want the numbers that are in both sets at the same time. Okay, so which numbers are in both sets at the same time? I see a seven that's in both. Okay, so seven. What else? I see 11 that's in both. What else? Not 15, so 15, not 15, 19. I do see 19 in both, so 19. And that's uh, B intersect C complement. Part F looks a little bit complicated, but it's not really. So this is B intersect C complement, parentheses complement. So all this is asking you to do is take the complement of whatever's inside the parentheses. Okay, whatever's inside the parentheses, we already did, right? So B intersect C complement, we did already. We actually did it right here. So all this is asking you to do in part F is to take the complement of part E. And complement means I want everything that's not in part E. So I'm going to go through my universal set and list out everything that is not in part E. All right, so what's not in part E? 135, 135, it's not in E, so 135. What else? 9, 9 is not in E. 
What else? Thirteen, fifteen, seventeen are not in part E. So thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. Next up is part G. So part G looks complicated, but it's not really. So part G is something in parentheses intersect something else in parentheses. So all this is asking you to do is take the set on the left and intersect it with the set on the right. Now it looks complicated, but it's not really because the set on the left you did already in a prior part. Okay, so the set on the left is A union B. So look for where, where, where have you done A union B? Right here in part D. Okay, so set on the left is part D. Set on the right is B intersect C complement, complement. So be careful. It's not going to be part E, right? Part E is missing this extra complement. So the set on the right is actually talking about part F. So all this is asking you to do is take the set on the left, which is part D, and intersect it with the set on the right, which is part F. So we're talking about these two sets here. Intersect means the overlap, so I want the numbers that are in both sets at the same time. Okay, so let's go through and pick out the numbers that are in both sets. One is in both. What else? Three is in both. Not seven, not 11. 13 is in both. 15 is in both. And I think that's all. Okay, so when you get to these complicated ones at the end here, look at your other parts, right? The set on the left and set on the right should either be one of the original sets or one of the parts that you did uh, before. And all it's asking you to do is either take a union or take an intersection or take a complement. Okay, next part here. So this is now talking about determine whether the following statements are true or false. The symbol right here, remember, means subsets. So all this is asking you to do is decide whether the set on the left is a subset of the set on the right. So it's asking, is everything on the left side also in the thing on the right side? Okay. Set on the left should be one of the ones that you did already up, up top. Okay, so set on the left here is part D. Set on the right, B intersect C complement. Where's that? That's part E, okay? So all this is asking you to do is, is the set on the left, which is part D, is everything in the set on the left also in the set on the right? Okay, so start with the set on the left, which is part D, and ask yourself, is one in part E? No, right? So one is not in the set on the right. So this is already a false. Next up, um, the set on the left is the C, set on the right is B intersect C complement complement. So we're talking about regular C. So where's regular C? Regular C is right there. And then we're also talking about B complement or B intersect C complement complement. So where is that? That's right here, part F. Okay. So we're talking about regular C and part F. So start with the set on the left, which is the regular C, and go through. Is three in there? Yes. Is nine in there? Yes. Is 15 in there? Yes. Okay, so all yeses, that means that this is true. Next up, there's a subset symbol. So on the left, we have B complement. On the right, we have B intersect C complement complement. Okay. Left, B complement. So where's B complement? B complement is part C right there. And then on the right side, we have B intersect C complement complement. Where is that? That's part F. Okay. So start with the set on the left, which is B complement, just this one here. And then go through. So it's one in here. Yes. 
Is 5 in there? Yes. Is 9 in there? Yes. Is 13 in there? Yes. Is 17 in there? Yes. All yeses. So this would be true. Example 2. Consider the following Venn diagram, which is this picture here. So we have regions 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Based on the way the regions are labeled, which regions would represent the following sets? First one is regular U. A regular U is the rectangle. So what regions are inside of this rectangle? All of them, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A, next up is A. Uh, what regions are inside of set A? So A is this circle here. What regions are inside of A? Two and three. Next is B. What regions are inside of B? So B is this circle, big circle here. What regions are inside of B? Three, four, and five. C. So C is small circle. Uh, what region is inside of small circle? Just five. Okay, next up is A with a little C. So that's A complement. So what I want is everything that's not in A. Okay, so from here, you don't even need the picture anymore. So I'm going to move this up so I don't need the picture. So go through your, your everything, which is your, your U, your universal set, and then list out all the numbers that are not in A. So here's A. So what numbers are not in A? 1, 4, and 5. Next is B, complement. So what numbers are not in B? So go through your universal set. What numbers are not in B? 1 and 2. Next is C complement. So what numbers are not in C? Looks like it's one, two, three, and four. All right, so now we, uh, now we get to talk about the unions and intersections. So this is A complement, intersect, regular B. Okay, so look for A complement. A complement is right here, part E. Regular B. Regular B is right here, part C. Okay, so what I want here is intersection, which is the overlap, so which means what numbers are in both sets at the same time. So A complement and regular B, what numbers are in both of these sets at the same time? Looks like it's four and five, right? Four is in both and five is in both. So four and five. Part I. Uh, this is regular A, union, regular C. So regular A is right here, regular C is right here. Union means that we're going to put them together and make a bigger set. Combine them together and make a bigger set. Okay, so what I usually do is start with the first set and write it out as is. And then look at my second set and then add on anything that's new. So 5, 5 is new, so I'll add on 5. And then as a last step, uh, put things in order. But in this case, this is already in order. So we're, we're good. Next part J, this is A union C complement. So all this means is take the complement of what's inside. And what's inside should be one of the sets that we already did. So what's inside is A union C. Where's A union C? Right here, part I. So all this is asking is take the complement of this. So this is everything that's not in part I. So what numbers are not in part I? Uh, one and four. Okay, so one and four are not in part I. And then finally part K here. Okay, looks complicated, but it's not really, because all this is asking you to do is union the thing on the left with the, with the thing on the right. So the thing on the left 
is A intersect B, or A complement intersect B. The set on the right is A union C complement. Okay? So the set on the left, you should have already done, should have already done somewhere above. So where is A complement intersects B? That's part H. And then the set on the right, A union C complement. So where is that? That's part J. Okay? And what is this asking us to do? This is asking us to take the union, which means combine them together and get a bigger set. All right? So typically the way I do this is I take everything in the first set as is. So that's four and five. And then look at my second set and add on anything that's new. Okay? So one, one is new. I'll add on one. Four. Four I have already, so I'm not going to add on another four. And then and that's it. And then typically I will um, write things in, in order, right? So in order, this would be one first, four, and five. Okay, next part here are determine whether the, these statements are true or false. Uh, these are subset symbols. Okay, so this is asking is the set on the left a subset of the set on the right? Okay, so set on the left is B, regular B, which is right here. Set on the right is C complement, which is right here. Okay, so start with the set on the left and ask yourself, is everything in the set on the left also in the set on the right? So three, is three in there? Yes. Four, is four in there? Yes. Five, is five in there? No. Okay, so that's gonna be a false. Next up, so that's the subset symbol. Set on the left is A complement. Set on the right is A union C complement. So look for where uh, these sets are. So left set, A complement is right here, part E. Set on the right, A union C complement. So be careful. Where is that? That's right there. Okay. So start with the set on the left, which is A complement, and then ask. Is one in there? Yes. Is four in there? Yes. Is five in there? No. So this would be false. Next up is there's our subset symbol. Set on the left is A union C complement. Set on the right is C complement. Uh, A union C complement. That's part J. C complement is part G. Okay, so start with the set on the left, which is part J, and then ask, is one in there? Yes. Is four in there? Yes. So all yeses, this would be true. Example three. So here we have another Venn diagram. So this example is not that different than example two that we just did. The only difference is in example two, we had all these parts that kind of just walked you through the steps. Here in example three, we don't have those parts A, B, C, D, E, F, right? But I recommend you do all those parts anyway, okay? So here we have um, regions one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight regions here. Uh, my recommendation is to, before you do anything, go through and write out regular U, regular A, regular B, regular C. So regular U is, so U is the, the entire rectangle. So what regions are inside of this rectangle? Everything, right? So everything would be one through eight. A. What regions are inside of A? So A is this circle here. What regions are inside of A? Looks like two, five, seven, eight. B, what regions are inside of B? B is this circle here. What regions are inside of B? Looks like it's three, six, seven, eight.
and then C. What regions are inside of C, which is this circle right here? Uh, looks like it's regions 4, 5, 6, 8. 4, 5, 6, 8. Okay, so I recommend writing out U, writing out regular A, regular B, regular C, and then also writing out the complements. So you don't have to do complement of, of U, but you, I do recommend doing complements of C, complement of B, and then complement of, uh, of C. Right, A complement, so these are the, the, the regions that are, the numbers that are not in A, so what numbers are not in A? One, three, four, six, is that right? One is not an A, three is not an A, four is not an A, six is not an A. Okay. B complement. So these are all, all the regions, all the numbers that are not in B. So what's not in B? One, two. Four, five. I think that's all. And then C complement. So these are all of the numbers that are not in C. So what's not in C? One, two, and three. What else? Seven. Seven is not in C. All right, so we have regular U, regular A, B, and C, A complement, B complement, C complement. All right, so now we can actually look at the problem now. So the problem says, shade this set, this thing, intersect this thing, okay? So this is really just a set on the left and a set on the right, okay? Set on the left is this thing in parentheses, A complement intersect B. Set on the right is that thing, A union C. So now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build the set on the left and then build the set on the right. Okay, so set on the left is A intersect, A complement intersect B. And let's write out what this is. A complement is right here, regular B is right here. Okay, so we're looking at these two sets. Uh, I want the intersection, so think to yourself, is this the one where you combine them and get a bigger set, or is this the one where you find the overlap? Upside down U is overlap, so this is the intersection. So I want the overlap of A, complement, and regular B. So what numbers are in both of these sets at the same time? Three and six, I think. Right? Three is in both, six is in both, and that's it. So three and six. Okay, so that takes care of the set on the left. Now, do the set on the right. So, set on the right is A union C. We're talking about regular A and regular C. So, these two sets. This is a union. So, union means uh, combine them together and get a bigger set. All right? So, regular A and C. Uh, the way I typically do unions is I'll write out the first set as is, so 2, 5, 7, 8. And then I look at the second set and then add on anything that's new. Okay, so 4, 4 is new. 5, 5 I have already. 6, 6 is new. 8, 8 I have already. So that's done and then I'll put things in order uh, you don't really have to but I think it helps uh, makes things simpler uh, in the next step so in order this would be two four five six seven eight okay now we're ready for the final answer so, so the final thing we want is the set on the left intersect set on the right okay so let me Recopy that. That's uh, A complement intersect B intersect A union C. Okay. 
So all this is saying is center left, which we have right here, intersect it with center right, which we found right here. All right, so take this set and this set and intersect them. So intersect meaning the overlap. So what numbers are in both sets at the same time? Looks like it is just the six. Okay, so this would be just the six. Okay, this says shade, but you don't have to shade. All right, example four. So here we have the exact same Venn diagram picture as uh, the last example. The difference is actually the, the question, okay? So I'm gonna start this off exactly the same way that I started off uh, example four. So I'm gonna write out regular U, regular A, regular B, regular C, and then the complements also, uh, but not U complement. I want A complement, B complement, and C complement. Okay. Um, so this is these will be exactly the same as in example three. So I'm actually, I'm just going to write these out uh, and speed this up. All right. So these are U regular A regular B regular C A complement B complement C complement. So if you want the explanations, uh, look at the beginning of example three because it's, it's exactly the same. So I recommend writing these uh, seven sets out on, on every question like this. And now we're going to go back to the question. So this is asking for the union of the left thing together with the right thing. Okay, so the left thing is that B intersect C complement. The right thing is A intersect B. Okay, so next step here is I'm going to build a left one and then also build a right one. So the left set is B intersect C complement. Okay, so where's regular B? Regular B is here. And then C complement is down here. Okay, so this is saying intersect. So intersect meaning the overlap. Overlap meaning I want the numbers that are in both sets at the same time. So regular B and C complement. What numbers are in both sets at the same time? I see three in both, and I also see seven that's in both. Okay, that's the one on the left. Do the same thing for the one on the right. So the right is A intersect B. Uh, this is regular A, regular B. So regular A is right here, regular B is right here. So this is another intersect. So intersect meaning I want the overlap, so the numbers that are in both. So what's in both? Seven is in both. What else? I see an eight that's in both. All right, so now that we have the center left, center right, one last step is to do whatever's in the middle. Okay, so this is saying take the union of these two sets that we just found. Okay, so this is gonna be I'm just going to rewrite the question here. B intersect C complement union A intersect B. Okay. Set on the left, we have right here. Set on the right, we have right here. Okay, so take these two sets. This is asking for the union. The union meaning combine them together and get a bigger set. So the way I do unions is I'm going to start with the first set. Write it out as is. And then go to my second set and then add on anything that's new. Seven, I already have. So I'm not going to write that seven again. And then eight, eight's new. We'll add on eight. Okay, and that's our final answer. So once again, it says shade, but you, you don't have to shade. So this is just three, seven, eight. All right, that's it for today. Uh, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later.